Libra, this is your reading for the 30th of March till the 6th of October 2020. And if you are a Cyber Angel, then welcome back and thank you very much for your support and for liking and sharing the, um, the, the videos and joining me in the live, of course. And if you're new, a welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live and I go live on Monday and Friday in English and at on Wednesday I go uh, live in Dutch as I am a Dutch person and I have lived in England for 28 years but now I'm back in Holland and it's a bilingual um, channel Okay, and the family is growing rapidly. That's why I've also segregated the English language to the Dutch language. It keeps the um, the, the the chat also uh, uh, running smoothly. Hopefully, for me, it is better because then I don't have to chop and change uh, from language to another language. Because when you're on a roll, then you want to keep going. <laughs> Uh, but I love all my cyber angels and I'm all thankful to everybody for uh, sharing and liking and subscribing. It's awesome and we do support each other. And like you have noticed, if you're a cyber angel, um, then there has been some changes instead of going live every day. I go live twice a week, but also extra if uh, the spontaneously if I have some something to say or a, a specific message um, and I've also made a presentation uh, just to give you support just a little message um, and I made a presentation and that's something new and it's also a little film with beautiful music so that you can have time uh, to look at these beautiful cards from Yesman Westwood and um, just in read the message as well that's written next to the card that is just an extra message for you all don't give up hope in these times and don't stress uh, you can still uh, connect with people uh, through Skype thank goodness we can see each other uh, nowadays because in the olden days we couldn't see each other and now we can virtually talk so let somebody know that you love them and that you're thinking of them and as soon as everything is okay you'll be down there to hug them and kiss them so give them a virtual hug or a kiss again there's information below this video and also there is a website that I'm keeping up to date so you've got a little white circle there and click on that and it will take you to the website Millie is with me and Millie um, is listening to the conversation look that is Millie she's sitting on my lap and I'm sitting on the dog's couch <laughs> Anyway, I've just shown you something from behind the scenes, but then you know why I'm kissing. <laughs> I'm giving you a kiss too. There you go, cyber uh, guys and girls. Love you. Okay, uh, but Millie is with me because it is. I miss you too. Um, but I'm good. I hope these readings are coming out. They are coming out and sending this message. Don't give up. Love. Together we stand strong. I've been saying this for two years now and it's really happening. Together we do stand strong. So the proof is there. You've got the Six of Swords. I'll show you the Six of Swords the right way up, but it's upside down. So you're not moving. Okay, you're not moving from rough waters at the beginning of the week to smoother waters. You've also got the Ten of Wands. Uh, don't give up hope. It's only the last couple of steps, okay? The new beginning is on the horizon. Look at that um, butterfly pulling that little piece of string that's holding the wands together. And I've seen these cards loads of times. I've done readings loads of times and today is the first time that I've seen that and that was in Virgo.
So every time you see something new in these cards, they're so beautiful. And I did an interview with Yasmin last week, so go and have a look at that beautiful uh, um, interview. And uh, she's uh, lifted up the corner of the veil because she, I'll tell you the uh, one little bit of secret: there is an other deck coming. So go and have a look and go and have a look at her website so um, go and have a sneak preview of the cards because they're so beautiful again and there is a Lenemon deck coming I can't wait I can't wait now you've got the nine of ones upside down so you've got the ten in the beginning of the week and the nine of ones you're taking a rest I'll show you the right side up here you can see she's holding on to the wand and putting her head down well you're not up in your head anymore although you've ta you're taking a rest on Wednesday you're not that nervous the the ones have loosened the load is be has become lighter the shift of the transformation is already happening wow and look at what is lying underneath it the six uh, seven, sorry the seven of pentacles you are sowing seeds today for this new beginning so i know it is it will take time uh, perhaps four to six weeks before um, no four weeks before uh, you will see a little leaf coming above the ground so it might take three to four weeks before uh, you actually see something and by the end of a uh, may definitely you will have flowers and it is blossoming so you most probably uh, it takes six to eight weeks to some for something to fully grown and blossom so i think you're going to blossom the end of you're going to bear fruit have the harvest uh, at the end of may beginning june and it is seven but we uh, did have six so you've moved on from six to seven so perhaps you might be going taking that holiday um, uh, at the end of June or in June okay oh it wasn't able six you're not able to move on going on holiday or moving home but perhaps end of May June July you are going to move because you've got the Queen of Pentacles and she is all uh, also more or less the same meaning sowing seeds you've so sorry about that um, um, the seven is uh, the seven is the seventh month is July so that's cancer uh, let's just remember that um, but it is an earth sign so that uh, seven of Pentacles is an uh, sign, so it's, uh, it's not a major arcana, but you have got the Queen of Pentacles, and that is Virgo. Okay, uh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo is the ninth, ninth month. Ah, oh, we've got the Nine of Wands. Okay, uh, I'm always trying to look for uh, synchronicities and uh, uh, things like that. You've also got the Four of Swords. On Friday, the Four of Swords means take time out, do retreats, um, evaluate, contemplate, meditate, um, but you cannot move uh, forward. You can't go on holiday. A retreat could be doing a retreat, sit quietly, um, look after yourself, detox, uh, could be a weekend away because it is on Friday that you might actually be going away on holiday um, but everything is on lockdown so perhaps it means take time out I'm trying to also uh, ap <coughs> apply it to our situation of life at uh, what is happening in the world as well because um, obviously you would like to have answers what is the situation going to be next week or the coming week 
Okay, so that means time out. Take time out, if, uh, meditate, evaluate, contemplate. Um, after you've thought, perhaps it's an idea to take down, uh, a jotter with you and uh, if any ideas are coming into your head, then to write them down, um, then evaluate them when uh, after you've meditated uh, or at a later time, at a later date. Perhaps you, your ideas uh, leave questions and you might seek um, advice, um, uh, advice from a professional. We don't have any men. It could be a woman um, in this deck because it's funny that she it's lying next to the Queen of Pentacles, which is uh, the, the uh, yeah um, the Queen of Pentacles is the Hermit, so uh, that is also an advisor. And that is also he also stands for being a spiritual advisor, and here you've got the Four of Swords. Uh, that is also spiritual. Um, to withdraw into yourself to find answers uh, within yourself or to find yourself. Um, I do believe that this time it does reflect or bring uh, the flower power time where everybody got together and stood together. Um, I, uh, this is uh, my idea of flower power, everybody stood together, everybody was more together and that is the message that I'm getting with all these readings, contemplate, meditate, stand together, we stand strong, things like that, solidarity. So perhaps you might have a friend that might be your, that you seek advice from, but the Emperor does represent uh, the a man uh, a mature man, it could be a father figure um, or a professional um, but it is lying on Saturday and Sunday in, in that time uh, frame but like I said time is mad man-made so it might even be on Friday and um, this professional could be a Virgo okay it doesn't have to be a woman but nowadays um, and because of the concept of this deck showing our feminine side, I think a, 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 a woman uh, can also be an emperor uh, because an advisor like an advocate, a social worker, a doctor. So it could be an, a, a man that is nurturing and uh, caring that has the, a, a really, that's the feminine aspects of the man. Uh, feminine side okay but still be businesslike but it can also be a woman that is masculine that is I'll leave it up to you what resonates with you this deck has got so many uh, sides and facets to it that's why it fascinates me because it um, it, um, uh, it challenges me to go even deeper into my spirituality to get the answers. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Uh, I've lost it. Oh yes, these two are the, 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 the people cards. So the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Coins is a, could be a Virgo, a Virgo. Okay, also somebody that is Solid air, sol solid air, solidarity. I just used the word solidarity. See, this, this is crazy. Sometimes I, I even am amazed at how things come out. This psychic stuff, it really does work. And it's also an uh, a, uh, the the Queen of Pentacles, which is a Virgo, uh, Capricorn or Libra, but mainly the Queen of Pentacles represents Virgo but I will never exclude any other earth sides and we've got the Emperor and the Emperor is Aries but don't exclude all the other fire signs as well like Sagittarius or Leo because we have a lot of fire in your reading and 
pentacles okay now uh, what uh, the next card is you've got the six of wands like it's your week is starting off that you have to stay where you are you're not moving forward heavy loads heavy times but it is already moving from Monday to Wednesday it's already shifting you can see the energy shifting you have planted seeds either in the past and you couldn't move on because you had to wait for it to grow right now the Queen of Pentacles uh, perhaps you might be harvesting on Wednesday but you've become the Queen you might find out uh, that your investment is coming in and uh, giving you a return she stands for fertility I've, as I've said a birth could be uh, of a project work a hobby or a child you might hear uh, about a pregnancy from somebody else this could be the Aryan or the Virgo that is pregnant could be a brother a sister or a friend okay so uh, she's got green fingers something has in, has grown like I said you might find out your, uh, something about a return something has been dormant you've been waiting for it and boom it's come it's come alive look at this by the time it is weekend you've got the six of wands victory is, is yours you can travel it also stands for meaning home it stands for recognition it stands for going on holiday trips on Friday you already had that energy retreat journey uh, within or physically Wow so you might need advice from a, a professional about this journey shall I go or shall I not go if you can go it's not a whole it might be a business trip then you might uh, want to consider your family okay shall I go shall I do this move depends where it is and how stringent the uh, circumstances are with for the all over energy we have the Queen the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is Scorpio that is you uh, sorry no sorry this is still Libra sorry sorry this is the the Queen of Cups is Scorpio so Libra you might be uh, moving in with a Scorpio an Aryan uh, or uh, uh, a pentacle uh, sign okay it could be your advisor could be a Scorpio um, a Virgo or uh, and sorry I'm, I'm getting losing it your advisor could be or that somebody that you seek advice from could be a pentacle uh, and a fire sign or a water sign but uh, prominence is the Queen of Cups is Scorpio then the Emperor is an uh, Aries it could be a man as it, em it is the Emperor card or it could be um, a, a Virgo okay I'm sorry about stuttering and harping on but once it starts going boom 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 there's so many messages coming in I wish sometimes that all of you could just experience that for five minutes when everything just comes in it's like the eight of ones boom like those ones flying through the air now I'm talking about traveling I think you will you will be protected but I'm getting also um, a message here before you go try to avoid all the difficulties in this journey okay so check your itinerary check if that you've got your uh, ID with you uh, um, not something that is really of current value not outdated this is what I'm hearing because there there will be checkpoints there will be checkpoints that why are you traveling do you have to travel because let's get into the real world this is I'm I don't like swiftiness and driftiness when I'm doing a reading I want to be clear okay 
Now you've got the car protection safe journey. Okay, that's Archangel Michael. You've got the golden card, and like I said, you're a champion. You've got the golden cup. You've got recognition, and you are traveling. You are a hero. Okay, or a heroine. Archangel Michael and his band of angels stand in protection over your car or a loved one's car. So there might even be somebody returning because of all the difficulties. Perhaps you've been alone with the kids. So there might be somebody returning from uh, a work work travel. Okay, that's uh, that came into the reading as well, I, I believe. The blue angel feather. Now, why do I? You've got the blue angel feather. Accept the way. Uh, accept life the way it is. Now, when I saw this, the first thing I didn't see the feather. I saw this color, just the border. I didn't even see this. I just see the border, and a marine, that marine, or a nurse, police. Somebody is coming back, but marine came in first. So perhaps a marine person. It might resonate with one or two of you, it might not. If not, have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign, darlings. The angels are here to advise you that you will find a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you try to st stop trying to control everything in your life. Sometimes things are outside our uh, power. Okay, our willpower. We have to def. Yes, yes, Marines. Here you are. It's working again. Uh, it's uh, the government that rules the uh, schedules of the Marines. Okay. So you can't tell your your partner or your boyfriend or whoever to come back home because you're alone. You are troubled and you're going through difficult times. A crisis at the moment okay so boom or you might go and see them amazing you'll have to travel to the airport or to wherever he's stationed or she this reading is absolutely crazy is mind-blowing okay well anyway I hope it was net resonated take from the reading what you can my lovelies and I'll see you in the life Libra be blessed and know that I love you and I send you all my healing, my love and kisses. I wish you all good luck. Please and thanks for sub subscribing and sharing and uh, giving the thumbs up. Bye bye. Wow Libra, I'm sorry I, I forgot to uh, do the uh, extension reading. Um, on your one of the cards and I'm not going to do it because it this was such uh, a reading I've it's rarely that I experience uh, that a reading is taken over a, a life of itself and that's how it felt but just coming back on to the marine I just couldn't let it go and when I looked at the reading again Wow, look at this. We have uh, uh, the Emperor. The Emperor is an advisor. The Emperor also um, represents uh, judicial uh, issues and situations, institutions. So uh, the Marines, the Army, um, the government are all institutions. And l that word just came out, Marines and governments. It's um, outside our control. It is the higher hand that's got control, the higher hand on earth. Okay, not the divine. Please, uh, note, uh, note also that you are not alone, that the divine and the angels are with you. But this is the power that you cannot control. Okay, so don't feel worthless or anything like that. Um, it's out of your hands so go with the flow okay that is this card so again blue 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 look at this this is so magic this reading took on a mind of its own it's I'm sorry 
um, but in another way it's still magical it just goes to show that each reading that I do is not like a uniform it's all different it just happens the way it happens take care and God bless